Hi everybody, my name is Vanessa Dale Fletcher. Uh, I'm a uh, Potawatomi and Lenape woman. Uh, my family is from um, El Pali El Kait and European settlers. And my home is Toronto. Um, those are just a, a few words in the Lenape language. And for this um, uh, video, um, the Art Gallery of Ontario and Tangled Art Plus Disability asked me to share a little bit about my artwork with you. Um, and to do that, I decided to ask um, friends and colleagues um, to pose questions to me um, about my work to find out uh, what kinds of things people would like to know about. Um, so in this video, you'll hear um, the voices of uh, different people asking me those questions and my responses, um, as well as lots of images and video clips. Uh, from my work. What has been your visual journey through your relationship with materials? Materials are so powerful. I choose them to help make my artistic vision come to fruition, but also as conduits for my or the viewer's experience. In performance, materials are not only visual, they are significant to all the senses. In Ni Nagata Makkalikin Pongpe, I chose natural dyes that I have used in my quill work hibiscus, blueberry, and onion. I wanted them to be dyes that come from plants we also eat so that there is a connection between the external and internal body. My textile and performance work are always informing each other Making dyes from plants and dyeing porcupine quills is an exciting process. How has your practice changed in the context of the pandemic? I started experimenting with natural dyes during the first lockdowns in the pandemic. The disruption in my daily life um, and spending time at home helped me to get over my nerves of trying a new process. Watching porcupine quills absorb color whether it's natural or synthetic dyes is, well, I don't, I don't have the word to describe the feeling. The transfer of color and material, I can understand the kind of chemical and physical process that is happening, but there's still something about it that's beyond my comprehension. In this work, I wanted to be drenched in color, the way the quills are when I dye them. <sighs> it's summertime or late spring, and I just spent the last few months watching everyone harvesting shokolo umbi, the sap from the trees. So I was watching this over social media, seeing all the images of this clear sap dripping out of the trees. So instead of uh, bathing myself in the color, co bathing myself in the color, I decided to have um, it drip all over me.
I think that that uh, dripping and and staining um, also you know has a relationship to the fluids of our bodies um, and the work that I've done uh, thinking about menstruation and making art around and about a menstruating body. What is kind of like the role of fine or community like in your practice um, and specifically like how does community aid in you in this pursuit? Community informs my work in so many ways. Uh, this work is an influenced by watching my community harvest maple sap. I've also been influenced by being able to learn my language over the past year, creating with a sense of community through creating a sense of community through words and developing community through learning language. The title of this performance uh, can also be thought of as a score for the performance. Ni Nagata Makrikin Pongpe translates as I want pink drip. Learning my language and creating performances to embody that language is connected to community because I'm learning within a community and developing community through learning through my language class um, and then I'm learning so that I can um, have a sense of myself and community um, within the Lenape language outside of English and so that I can meet my relatives in my language. My relationship to language has often been quite isolating. Having a learning disability meant that I was often separated from peers for one-on-one -on -one instruction with adults. I experienced and thought about the world through language in very different ways than my peers did, or even still today many people do. At the same time, making art and sharing about my experience of language has helped me to connect with people and a sense of community. Knowing that while my individual understanding and experience is unique, there are many similarities, connections, and alignments that can be made with other people.